Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So a while ago I made a video talking about an excellent indie game called Punch a Bunch that just released and found massive success. By my estimates it sold about 13,000 copies in just two weeks, making about $200,000 in revenue, that's a huge hit, really awesome. But recently I also launched my own Steam game and the results are very much a failure with almost zero players. So the big question is what is the big difference between these two games? Now I should point out that I'm using the word failure here with some very very heavy quotation marks. The game that I'm talking about is Kitchen Chaos, this is the game that was fully built in my free complete course. I added it to Steam just for fun, just to make it easier for people who wanted to easily play the final game before starting the course, so I wasn't really trying to make this a successful launch or anything, so that is why it's not really a failure at all. Like I mentioned in the video, is game dev luck, success means different things to different people, so for this specific game, I didn't add it to Steam with the hopes of getting thousands of downloads, I added it just for fun, so based on my goals it actually was successful, but still this is an excellent data point to analyze how Steam releases can do. How one game can launch and sell 10,000 copies while another one gets almost zero. Now if you're a regular on this channel, you've heard me mention repeatedly the importance of wishlists, you might be sick of hearing me talk about it, but the reason why I mention it so often is exactly because of this, it is so extremely important. These two games are the perfect example of that. For Punch a Bunch, the game was developed over 3 years, in all that time he made tons of devlogs which helped him gather around 20,000 wishlists by the time the game launched. Because of that, as soon as the game was released, a bunch of people got some Steam notifications that the game was out, then some of those people bought it, then Steam saw that the game was selling and showed it to more people and so on and on. So those wishlists helped it get a successful launch. Whereas for my game, I made the Steam page quickly as I was building the course at the same time, then I made it public, and I launched the game when the course video went live which was pretty much as quickly as I could launch it. Steam requires you to have the coming soon page visible for 2 weeks before launching and that's exactly how long it was visible. I think I just mentioned it in a single video and during a live stream before release. So the result is the game launched with just 600 wishlists, that is a tiny tiny amount. For context, usually if you want to find success then the bare minimum you should have is at the very least 5000, a better amount is at least 10,000, those are the goals that I set for my proper Steam game, Total World Liberation. So for Kitchen Chaos with under a thousand wishlists that is essentially zero wishlists, which in turn means almost no one was notified when the game was released, and in turn no one picked it up which means the Steam algorithm really just ignored the game. Again, let me point out that for this game I didn't have the goal of making this a Steam success or anything, so I'm perfectly okay with the result, I wasn't expecting anything different, but the lesson to you is imagine that instead of having the goal of just putting it on Steam for fun, imagine that I had worked on this game for 2 years and I was hoping it would sell tons of copies, if that were the case then this would be a catastrophic failure. So if you make a game and you work on it really hard for a really long time with the hopes of finding success, if you ignore my advice and ignore marketing and don't gather wishlists or tell anything about your game, if you do that and you suddenly launch the game, if you do then this is what will happen. No one will know that your game exists, no one will buy it and no one will play it. So if you don't want that to happen with your games then I would highly highly encourage you to listen to my advice, watch my video on the most important skill, start studying about marketing, start gathering some wishlists through whatever method you can find, so that hopefully when your game finally launches you actually find the success that you're after. I should also point out that part of marketing is choosing a good idea that is marketable and interesting. The main reason this game didn't find success is indeed because of lack of wishlist, but a second equally important reason is that the game is really nothing special. Now obviously that's intentional, this was a game made primarily for a course, so it was intentionally made to be simple and generic, but obviously in your own games you don't want that. One extremely important video that I mentioned in the marketing video is one by Ryan Clark, it's an excellent video all about finding good hooks, definitely watch that to validate that your idea is actually marketable. Having a marketable idea makes marketing a whole lot simpler. So if your goal is to find success as an indie dev, don't do what I did with this quick game, instead pick a good idea and start gathering wishlists as soon as you can. If you do that, then like I said in the game dev luck video, I believe that success can be achieved. Also let me take this time to listen to my own advice, so let me mention my proper Steam game that I'm working on with the hope that it does find success, it's called Total World Liberation, it's an interesting mix of genres with turn based strategy, automation, crafting, resource gathering and so on, check it out with the link in the description and add it to your wishlist. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.